Hello, hello everyone. My name is Laura. This is my channel, Laura's Little Library, and welcome to today's vlog, which is the week one of Continuathon. So, it is the Continuathon. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I will link the announcement video down below, but it is a two week long readathon that I am hosting in the two weeks of April, from April 10 to April 24. So we are just now at the beginning of the Continuathon and the book that I am reading first is actually Beasts of Ruin by Ayana Gray. This is the second book in the Beasts of Prey trilogy. I read the first one previously and then this one came out. The third book is not actually out yet, but I have this book over audio and I purchased it. So I really wanted to read it quicker because I do have it available to me. And then this way, hopefully I don't forget a lot of details from the first book if I read the second book soon after. So for this readathon, I have an idea of what books I want to read. Like I have plenty of books in series that I haven't finished on my shelf, on audio, all kinds of things like that. So I have plenty to choose from. And because of that, I don't necessarily want to set a TBR because I will be happy reading as many of these books as I can. Definitely there are some that I would like to prioritize thinking of two series that I wanted to read last year and didn't. <laughs> Oops. So I want to try and prioritize those. Otherwise, I don't plan on starting any new series. I'm just going to be continuing and hopefully finishing some series. So I want to make it super loosey-goosey, not force myself too much because I am also coming out of a reading slump, actually this book i've got less than two hours left in the audiobook and the first half of this book was like threatening a reading slump i'm finally now getting into it i think it's picking up i think it's piquing my interest but i'm still not super the biggest fan about it i am gonna finish it because i bought the first two but we'll see how the ending of this book goes if i will want to get the third one when it comes out or not but yeah, I just want to be gentle with myself as we get started here. So I will update you probably when I finish this because I just, it's like one of those books I need to just sit down, listen to over a long period of time and get it done. Um, and then I can move on to hopefully something a little more enjoyable. But yeah, welcome to the Continuathon. It is now day two of the Continuathon and I have finished Beasts of Ruin by Anna Gray. So this is the second book in a trilogy. The third book is not out yet. So I have caught up. I've got one book done and I'm in the first year. Yay, exciting. I'm happy. I have a lot of books to choose from that I could read next, looking at my shelves. But the thing is, is that there are a few books that I got recently that are in my last haul video, if you wanna check that out. That I'm kind of in the mood to read so I'm probably going to choose one of these three next. We have A Magic Steeped in Poison by Judy I. Lin and so this is actually the first book in a duology. I have both books in the duology. This is on my spring TBR and I also have the audiobook for this so even though I didn't want to start a new series during this because I want to just continue and maybe finish series I am considering picking this one up and reading the duology, which would be pretty nice. I also have Immortality, A Love Story by Dana Schwartz. This is the second book after Anatomy. I didn't realize that there were going to be more books after Anatomy. I honestly thought it was just an open-ended standalone, but no. So there's this one, which, yeah, I, I want to read. I read it around this, I read it early summer last year, even though it's a good spooky book. Yeah, it's it's a romance, which is, it's a gothic romance. So there's this one that I could read. My final option um, that I'm kind of interested in right now is Rise of the Snake Goddess by Jenny Elder Moak. This is a Samantha Knox novel. This is the second book. There are only two at the moment. This uses Greek mythology to pull from. It's basically a female Indiana Jones 1920s kind of thing. 
I wasn't super excited, or I mean, I wasn't super impressed by the first one. I was really excited for it because it drew from Irish Celtic mythology, but I don't think it was executed very well. So I, I really hope that this one is better because it is like, you know, new adventure, but same characters. I really liked the characters, but we have a, we have another chance, I think. And the other reason I am debating about this one is because, so it's Greek mythology, um, so I assume they're going to go to Greece because they went to Ireland in the last one. And I will be going to Greece this summer. So I'm kind of like, do I want to read it now for the readathon? Or do I want to read it closer to when I actually go to Greece? Because I'm going to Greece early June and it's mid-April. So I've got like a month and a half before I go. So I'm kind of in the mood to read this. I'm also thinking of like finding a book for every country that I'm going to because there is a contemporary romance that just came out that is in Amsterdam. So I'm like, oh, I'll be there too. So I'm like, mm, do I, do I want to have that be a thing or I don't know. I'm figuring it out. I think I might be leaning towards, leaning towards one of these two is the vibe. So we're going to edit some videos, um, film a video actually, and uh, see what I gravitate towards. Maybe I'll do like a try a chapter of each of them and then decide which one I'm going to read from there. Oh yeah, so the camera's crooked a little bit. I'm sorry, it's just gonna be like that. Um, so yeah, I finished this. I think the ending was a lot easier for me to get through because I think it picked up and it did pique my interest again. Honestly, the first like 60% of the book, I was like sludging through it. Like it took me two weeks to read because I don't know if it was just slow or if I didn't like what the characters were going on or I didn't understand the significance of what was happening. So, and like I had just read the first book, so it wasn't like I forgot a lot of details. So it was just kind of like, okay, that happened. So yeah, we'll see if the third book is better when it comes out. Okay, friends, I have decided that the next book I'm going to read for the continuathon, ooh, hello, the next book I'm going to read for the continuathon will be Rise of the Snake Goddess by Jenny Elder Moak. I, I want to read this because A, I just got the audiobook for it so I can do both of them at the same time. B, I'm very much in the mood of planning our Europe trip and so I think I'm going to use this just to keep myself in that traveling mood and to just kind of make it all come together and, you know, just kind of follow along the themes of traveling right now. So, yeah, oh, I'm just obsessed with these covers. They're beautiful. So, yeah, plus it's it's relatively small. I don't think it'll take too long for me to get through, which will be great because I've also been thinking I should try and read The Toll by Neil Schusterman because I started it last year, but I didn't get through it. And that's because I love the trilogy and I don't want it to end. But I did also get Gleanings, so it's not going to be the last book in the universe. So... I really want to get that done already. So anyway, but this is going to be my next read and I'm super excited for it and I'm worried because I think I'm getting my hopes up again. Even though for the first book was quite a bit of a disappointment, I'm hoping that the second book will be better. So we'll see. All right, so <laughs> it's already Wednesday, April 19th. I know I haven't read a lot or really just done a lot in this vlog. It's going to be a very short vlog, but it's been a busy week. Um, I've been working a lot, of course, um, which included a six-day work week, which was not something I was planning on, and I just had a lot of other things happening. You know, we're leaving the state in a month, so we're kind of in that, okay, what do we need to do <laughs> to get ready for this? So we're starting on that, but I did finish Beasts of Ruin, uh, which is the second book in a trilogy, but it, I'm caught up in the trilogy now, and I have started Rise of the Snake Goddess by Jenny Elder Milk, and I am, I'm excited for it. I, I know I don't want to get my hopes up too high, but I, I started it, and I forgot how much I love these characters, so I, at least I have that to look forward to. I'm really happy and excited about that, so I will continue this in my next vlog, the second half of this readathon's vlog, it goes, the readathon goes until April 24th. I'm doing it in two weeks, in two, or two vlogs, so 
if that was confusing, I'm sorry. But I am ending the first vlog here. Hopefully next week I will do a lot more reading. I don't quite have as many plans, I don't think, coming up. So, because I would really love to read at least two more series, if that's possible. <laughs> so, we'll see. But thank you all very much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you are participating in the Continuathon. If you don't know what this is, I'll have the announcement link down below as well. And while you're down there, you can hit the subscribe button. I try to post twice a week, generally Sundays and Wednesdays. Doesn't always happen. Um, but I also have bookish social media linked down below that you can follow me on to get more updates on what I'm reading, what I think about it. So yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until I see you in the next one, I wish you happy reading.